This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 684 of Horse Tip Daily. A different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's tip is brought to you by Amazon.com. Greetings, horse people. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily. Today's tip is from episode 208 of the Eventing Radio Show. Samantha Clark and Francis Whittington bring us some fabulous insight on coaches, advice, opportunity, and risk. But first, let's hear from today's sponsor, Amazon.com. Admit it, you shop on Amazon.com. Don't be embarrassed, we all do. Well, next time you have a hankering to hit up Amazon for some deals, stop by horsetipdaily.com first. Click on the Amazon.com link on the left side of the home page, and then shop till you drop. Doesn't cost you a penny, and helps us keep the lights on here at Horse Tip Daily. And now, on with today's tip. And you train, um, you train show jumping with Rob Hoekstra, who uh, was the, the team trainer for the show jumpers today. So you have a little personal connection to their, to their gold. I, I first had lessons with Rob when I was about seven years old. And um, I, I still say now he's the best trainer that, that I've, I've ever, ever had or known. And as far as jumping is concerned, his his way of training has been instrumental in, in the way that I develop my cross-country style of riding. And um, although recently, in the last few years, I haven't had that many sessions with him because he's been so busy, it only takes to see him at a show or for a short while just to get his his thoughts or opinion on the way that I'm riding, a couple of suggestions, and you come away you come away thinking, wow, brilliant. For example, I was riding out at Arken this year in the, the CIC three star there. And I was warming up from my show jumping with Sir Percival. And I looked up and, and he's come over and he stood by the warm up arena and he's, he's just watching and I ride by and he just makes a couple of comments. And all of a sudden there's just like this huge weight. You think, Oh yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Not a problem. This is this is really straightforward. You feel really confident again. Everything just feels right. And I go in. We had a, a real unfortunate rail, but we jumped an amazing round. And his knowledge, his understanding of jumping, his way of thinking and training is fantastic. So to see him take on the the GB show jumping squad and to have stood his ground, taken a few risks. And made a few changes, which in the press or according to the press, they haven't always been popular. It's amazing to see those years work all now finally come to fruition and see them achieve an Olympic gold medal. The first one since 1952, I think they said. And that is just outstanding. And I mean, that's a, that's a testament to the ability of the riders that we've got in the country but also to the fact that there's good management, there's selection where they're prepared to take a risk. And I think the whole idea of taking the risk, giving the opportunity for some new blood to come in and move up the level to the highest level, I think is a great idea. And for sure, every time you let in new blood, you are trying out something different that you haven't always tried. This doesn't always work, and I think that's been shown at the Olympics this year. But it's something that we shouldn't be afraid of, that selectors shouldn't be afraid of. People need an opportunity to shine. And sometimes they don't always shine up until they've been given that opportunity. And then you really can see the grit and determination and see what they're made of. And it'd be interesting to see what happens over the next four years before we get to Rio, how many other nations try out different combinations of riders and horses and how many new combinations actually come to the forefront of the sport and start making up teams. Mm. Do you remember the comments he made to you at Arkin? What were they? Yeah, they, he said to me, he said to me, um, is it, just keep your body up a little more and just just hold the contact. Don't pull the contact to the fence. Percival's, um, so Percy, who was, uh, Percival who I was riding, he 
he likes to to have a little bit of contact and i i was just um holding and just releasing the contact a bit too much and i just needed to keep my body up a little bit more and just maintain that contact it it wasn't it wasn't so much the what he was saying because when i mention it or now it it makes it's it's obvious you know it, it, but i don't know maybe people listening will understand it it doesn't matter what level you ride at every now and then it you need somebody there to say some, something, somebody that you trust beyond everything else, somebody whose opinion you respect and you, and, and you understand and you want to hear. And the fact that that person is there and has taken the time to come over and to say that, that means a lot. And then that gives you the confidence to actually believe in what you're doing. And then therefore you go out and do what you know you can do. Well, there you go. To listen to Jock's interview with Samantha in its entirety, you can just go to eventingradio.com and search for episode number 208. Don't forget to support our sponsors here on Horse Tip Daily because they make these podcasts possible. Today's podcast has been brought to you by Amazon.com. Next time you have a hankering to hit up Amazon for some deals, stop by Horse Tip Daily first, click on the Amazon logo on the left side of the page, and then shop till you drop please stop by the Horse Tip Daily Facebook page and let us know what you think of the tips you hear on the show. It's also a great place to tell us about topics you'd like to hear us cover on the show. You can subscribe to all the great shows on the Horse Radio Network through iTunes or Zoom and get your horse podcasts automatically downloaded to your iPod, Zoom, or MP3 player. You can also listen to the shows right on Facebook. The player's right there every day. I'll be back again tomorrow with another new expert and a different horse tip. Until then, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily. (laughs) 